here so I thought I'd make a video of fixing up my motor mount so this is motor mount for the V10 going into the Chevy truck and this is the driver's side and you see it's got all this rubber embedded so so this piece is basically sandwiched between two rubber pieces all right let's go look at the one on the passenger side see the rubber completely detached on this side and you can see that the, the bolts that hold this plate together are studs and they're old studs and they just pound in and I just pounded them out so now previously it was like this completely floppy loose so I tried to uh, I tried to, to look up see if I can buy one a new one and they don't seem to sell them they sell them for the V6's or not the V6's they sell them for the V8's but not the V10's and in one case I actually saw the, the driver's side but not the passenger side and when I go to the Ford dealer they sell these individual pieces they don't sell the completed units so I'm thinking they expect you to make it fix it yourself so, so that's what I'm doing basically it looks like this piece of rubber is not actually attached to this side it is just so it just goes on there and what holds it in is the other side so we take this and then we squash it down that will hold it together so what I need to do is remove all this rubber get it down to bare metal grind that down to bare metal and then get some some liquid rubber and just fill this full of liquid rubber and then squash them together all right I want to show how to get this rubber off because I just use this uh, pry bar pounded it with a hammer and just kind of uh, scraped it off that will get all the big chunks and then I think I'm going to burn the rest of it off uh, so I, 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 I kind of hit this with the torch lot, frankly what it does is it ends up it ends up burning the, the top of it and then it then it stops it, it, it doesn't burn anymore so yeah, it took a little bit off but I'm gonna just grind it so you can see I did it do the other piece too. No. Okay, so this is stuff we're gonna use here. Loctite PL premium. Um, so I'm just gonna glob this whole thing right onto there. Alright. So this episode is brought to you by the Ryobi cock gun. Ryobi seems to have everything now battery in it powered by their batteries so there we go uh, oh I thought it was black <laughs> oh well Uh, 
Looks like that's about it. I'm gonna get this crap on my camera. Don't want to do that. I had to clean my hands before I could get the camera. But there you go. Basically, looped it all on there, and then used this to a four piece so it holds it up against the rubber on the bottom. And then I just put the piece on top, and I actually I, I could have. Sorry, I didn't show you, but basically I mushed it on there and then it kind of all came out. So I pulled it all back off and I sort of folded this back in on both sides because it's, it's already starting to skin off. So now, now this isn't sort of dripping down. So I don't, you know, 24 hours. Got to make sure these holes lined up. So I got the, I got the, uh, the uh, vice grips hold it so it doesn't move around. All the holes, all holes are lined up. So let it dry. It's supposed to be 24 hours. All right. Let's check back tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day, and yeah. It's skinned over pretty good, but it's still, you can tell the inside is still gooey. Because I take a little piece that was on the container, and you can see this. It's hard on the outside, but it's gooey on the inside. Sounds like a, some kind of candy. <laughs> but. Um, so it's pretty solid though. I think it. I can take this off now. Don't need that anymore. But, um, you know, I, I did put some of this adhesive on the other side just to get the. But it, it won't stick to the rubber very well. So, I wouldn't put it on the car and put any weight on it yet. But I think I'm going to go put it outside in the, in the sun and let it dry for at least another day. Because i got other things to do. All right. Well, it's, uh, I've waited. It's probably been at least four or five days now. And this is... Now solid. It's uh, it was kind of smushy for a day or two, and uh, so there you go. I need to you know pound the studs back in so it looks like that one. But uh, five bucks saved me basically a hundred bucks, if not more, um, if I could even find it. So so yeah, there's there's the tip for you. Just use some polyurethane glue and uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up and after it's on the car and for a while I think maybe one issue is that you need to paint it because this maybe oil will disintegrate this I don't know could be an issue. all right thanks for watching see you next time